Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Young and the Restless, Ashley Abbott will experience a profound feeling of betrayal as Jack Abbott, Tressie Abbott, and Diane Jenkins Abbott start to question her version of events. Even after Ashley learns that Tracy also interrogated the other waiters, she will remain persuaded that Tucker McCall gone so far as to bribe the cafe server. Tracy will admit to providing bribes of her own, but the workers remained steadfast in their assertions of frequent disagreements and declined to take a wage increase. That will persuade Tracy that the folks she spoke with were telling the truth, but according to Y and R spoilers, Ashley will speculate that Tucker may have exerted some sort of coercion. Diane will chastise Jack and Tracy for handling Ashley's outburst as she tries to act like she's crazy and walks out in a huff. Tracy doesn't think Ashley can move past Diane's suggestion that the main focus should be on Ashley's release from Tucker until she learns the whole truth. Tucker will argue with Audra Charles in his suite concerning his reasons for watching Ashley. Tucker will make an effort to convince Audra that he is only keeping an eye on Ashley so he can stay away from her. Even if Audra won't believe it, she will gradually stop talking about Ashley and start taking more of Tucker's praises. As Audra and Tucker become more flirtatious, Ashley can be heard pounding on the door and losing her mind as she tries to persuade Tucker to open up. Tucker will decide to focus on Audra, so as Ashley drinks downstairs and texts Tucker to arrange a meeting as soon as possible, they will be making love. When Chelsea Lawson briefs Billy Abbott at Society about Connor Newman's school troubles, which will be much worse than she had anticipated, he will comfort her. There will be many reasons to be concerned about Connor, including his constant handwashing and inability to focus in class. Chelsea will attempt to have faith in Billy's continued optimism over the assistance that Connor will receive from the school's experts. Billy will make fun of Tucker and share his negative view of him when Chelsea inquires about what's going on in his world and they discuss their earlier run-in. Billy will bring up the fact that Tucker made a comment about being power-hungry that really stuck with him. Tucker added that he would love to see Billy take aim at Jabot and include it into Chancellor Winters, though Billy will make it clear that's not actually what he would do. Billy will still believe that Chancellor Winters' name needs to be changed. Billy will propose Abbott Winters in place of Jill Abbott because she is a significant contributor to the business and isn't fairly represented. Given that it's a kind homage to Catherine Chancellor, Chelsea won't seem to be quite sold on omitting the Chancellor name. Instead, Billy will advocate for Abbott Chancellor Winters or A.C. Doe. Chelsea will assume that Devin Hamilton Winters will disagree with Billy on this. Chelsea will also note that Billy and Jill have the same last name, so she'll assume that by making sure his mother is acknowledged, Billy is asserting a claim of his own. Victoria Newman will acknowledge that she previously knew about Jordan's possible escape when Nikki Newman tells her about her worst mistake to date at the ranch. In the end, Nikki will acknowledge that she received several disconnected, silent calls, one of which included the well-known stripper tune. She will also feel that someone ought to have warned her that insane Jordan was on the loose. Nikki will have a nightmare about being homeless and drinking on the streets, waking up in a panic after she's done resting. When Nikki wakes up, she'll be alarmed, so she'll phone Jack to ask for help and assurance that he'll stop by the ranch whenever she can. As Diane watches him on the phone, she will appear anxious about the burgeoning relationship between Jack and Nikki. Back in Victor's living room, he'll find out from Victoria that Claire Grace hinted about Jordan using a fire as a distraction. Victor can be sure that his security staff can take care of keeping everyone in the Newman family safe if Jordan is really returning to Geno City. Keep checking back for more updates on all the drama that's building since spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that various GC residents are experiencing highs and lows. 
The Restless and the Young Get, the GCAC, Diane Jenkins Abbott will come across Phyllis Summers. Diane will be sulking about her new role as CEO of the cooperative. Phyllis will not seem to be impressed by Diane's spouse's meager advancement and will instead counsel Diane to surround herself with attractive individuals. Drunk Nikki Newman will lash out at Jack Abbott at the empty glass for telling Victor Newman the truth and telling him to go get her. Nikki will begin to calm down a little and realize that Jack is not to blame for anything when Victor gets her in the car. In order for Jack to assist Nikki in articulating his case for being her sponsor, Nikki will need to visit the Abbott residence and acquire some lunch. Jack is making himself a drink in the meantime at the minibar in the house. A flashback from Jack and Nikki's marriage depicts them arguing about Victor's alcoholism. Jack's admission to Victor and Nikki's most recent situation will be revealed during Diane's visit on Thursday's episode of Y and R. When Nikki and Victor do show there, Diane will demonstrate her ability to maintain discretion while still being a helpful figure for Nikki's recuperation. Nikki will persuade Victor that Diane needs someone who can relate to her addiction, in this case, Jack, not Victor, after she excuses herself. Victor will be persuaded by Nikki that Jack is the most worthy individual to be her sponsor and that he need to honor her decision. Even though Victor won't love it, he will comply with Nikki's request. But Victor would still tell Jack that he will have hell to pay if something happened to Nikki. Heather Stevens will inform Lucy at Daniel Romilotti Jr.'s house that she needs to keep her reunion with Daniel a secret. Lucy will be happy to see her family again, but she'll also be concerned that Daniel might change his mind before he can settle on the details of his breakup with Lily Winters. Heather would wait until they were confident in Daniel and continue to feel upbeat about the whole thing before agreeing to accompany Lucy to Crimson Lights. Danny Romilotti will appear thoughtful when Heather and Lucy run into him on their way out and decline their invitation to join them. While waiting for the ideal moment to dump Lily, Daniel will run into Devin Hamilton Winters, Brighton James, in the coffee shop. Devin is going to ask whether the plan is to keep cheating on Lily. Daniel would question whether Devin is truly qualified to render such a decision in light of the fact that Devin cheated on Amanda Sinclair with Abby Newman Abbott despite his best efforts to clarify his difficult situation. Devin will behave hypocritically, but he'll also appear to understand that Lily has to be shielded from her experiences. In order to reassure Devon that he is merely thinking for Lily's best interests, Daniel will discuss putting their relationship on pause while Lily supports Maddie Ashby. Devon will be uncomfortable in the situation Daniel is placing him in, so he will make it plain to Lily that he won't lie to her. After that, Daniel decides to go home instead of hanging out with Heather and Lucy for mocha drinks. Taking note of Danny's unhappy appearance, Daniel will check in with him. This will lead to Danny acknowledging that Christine Bell saw him kiss Phyllis Summers and that he is distancing from both of them in order to put an end to the turmoil. Daniel will acknowledge that he has been holding off on telling Lily about his own secret meeting with Heather. Daniel would encourage him to buckle up, buttercup, and ask for guidance regarding his own romantic life, as he doesn't think it's that abrupt. When Phyllis sees Heather and Lucy clinking cocktails at Crimson Lights, she'll wonder what they're celebrating. Phyllis will believe there is more to the story, but Lucy and Heather will pretend it has just been a great day. Next, Phyllis is going to Daniel's penthouse to invite him to dinner, but she's going to give the impression that she'd rather bother him. Phyllis will try again to sell Daniel on a romantic relationship while he is speaking with Lily on the phone but Daniel will flee away as soon as he returns. Daniel is going to face Phyllis, who is going to pretend that Christine is the one having issues. Additionally, Phyllis will believe that Danny and Daniel ought to understand who their true home is. Danny will be surprised to see Christine in person when he goes outside into the hallway. According to teases for the young and the restless, 
Phyllis seems to have a few more tricks in her sleeve. Keep checking back for all the upcoming sneaky news. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.